Kobe beef from a convenience store. That's what Japan's all about. Oh, 7-Eleven is the best, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Japan. We are here in Osaka. Today we're going to bring you guys one of the coolest videos that I've wanted to make since the day we arrived in Japan. We're going to be showing you guys Japanese convenience stores. We're going to go to the three main contenders of Japanese convenience stores, Family Mart, Lawson, and 7-Eleven. We're going to show you guys what's different, what you can find inside the food, everything you want to know about Japanese convenience stores. It's going to be super fun. Let's head on in to our first convenience store, Family Mart. Hey guys. And we're back with Moshe, our pal. Moshe, are you excited to show the people what the fame is. And we're back with our good pal Moshe. Are you excited to show the people Japanese convenience stores? Of course, they're awesome, they're cheap. We also have different opinions on which Japanese convenience store is the best. <laughs> so we'll give you guys our thoughts and opinions as we go by. But let's head into Family Mart. <laughs> So first things first, about Family Mart, what sets it apart from the rest of the Japanese convenience stores is actually its, uh, its jingle when you enter the store. And I'll play it right now if you didn't hear when we walked in. It's essentially the ultimate jingle that everybody knows and recognizes when you enter a Family Mart. So that's number one. We're giving points to even the most ridiculous aspects of it, like music and environment here in the convenience stores. But Moshe, I think we've come at a perfect time. It looks like everything is stocked up. Oh my, what is this? I have never seen this wow. before. We're definitely gonna get one of these. You wanna go get us a basket real quick? All right, so one thing that sets a lot of these convenience stores apart are these, these are onigiri. Onigiri are essentially little rice packages with seaweed that have different things inside. So some of them have tuna mayo, some of them have seaweed, some of them have pork, but every single one of these convenience stores does them different. One thing that I appreciate is sometimes the family marts have them in English. In this specific one, they don't have them in English, so it makes it a little harder, but we have a lot of selections here. As well, we have the sushi section. These are the different pasta dishes and spaghetti bowls and stuff like that, and then sandwiches. And one thing that Moshe loves the most is the pizza sand. And this is a Family Mart exclusive, right? Yeah, you can't really find this in any other one. Um, it's really, really good. I wouldn't consider it close to a pizza, but hey, it still tastes good. You have these udon bowls. A lot of them kind of taste the same and look the same, but are packaged differently. And as we go from different store to different store, you'll be seeing kind of the minor differences in each one. But at the end of the day, a lot of them are selling almost the same exact thing. Put that in, tuna mayo. I'm gonna get a tuna egg salad sandwich just to taste it up. Moshe, what do we have over here? We have the pastries. These are the pastries. Lots of bread. Lots of bread options, croissants, different sandwiches that are kind of cold. The famous melon pan. Melon pan, this is melon bread. Should we taste melon bread from all three? Um, I'm pretty sure I have. They're all the same. They're all the same? Yeah. It's hard to tell. Some of the products are almost exactly the same, or they're actually made by the same exact producer and just repackaged for the different stores. But you even have sandwiches here that they'll heat up for you. So since we're visiting three convenience stores back to back, Moshe has actually decided he wants to get his food from here because this is your <laughs> favorite convenience store. Yeah. Or in Japanese, konbini. Yeah, Moshe has decided that Family Mart's his favorite of the three, the three big ones. So I think we're gonna check out of the Family Mart right now, taste some of that food, and see what it's like. Hey yo! First convenience store down, baby. Now, a thing that we should mention in Japan, I think I've said this in other vlogs, but it is very customary for when you're eating or drinking something to stand in the same spot. So you kind of choose a spot. A lot of times we choose like the curb or the right in front of the convenience store. That way you also have a trash to throw something out because in Japan, Unfortunately, there's not a lot of trash bins everywhere. We're gonna sit down right here just because it was a little loud outside of the convenience store And we'll we'll film you guys our reactions eating this stuff. All right, so we're gonna start off By trying some of the uh, some of the stuff that we got here first and foremost. You said what was this a cookie? Uh, yeah, it's called the devil's uh, chocolate cookie. Okay, let's try it I've never seen this anywhere besides the family mark just today, and we've been in Japan for a month and a half now, so Oh wow it's like a mousse chocolate cake with cookie crumble on top and then brownies on the bottom. Wow. Can I eat? Go for your pizza stand. Describe us the texture. What is it like? It's like a, a tortilla, which is melted cheese and sauce. It's really simple, but it's really, really tasty. It's one of my favorite things at Family Mart. Next up, 
is the onigiri. We spoke about this inside. This is that little rice roll. So it's a little triangle of rice. It's filled with something. This one has tuna mayo inside. And then it comes with this piece of seaweed that you kind of take, put the rice inside, and then build it yourself. And so you have yourself a little onigiri wrap. These are super popular. You'll find them in every convenience store. You'll even find them in their own shops. They have their own shops of this sometimes. And they're super delicious. So I'm gonna give this one a shot. Mm. Salmon onigiri, right? Mm hmm. Real salmon. Yeah. That's what that looks like. So this one actually comes pre packaged with the seaweed already on it, which makes the seaweed a little bit softer and a little wetter. Can you tell us why the standard for Japanese convenience store food is actually so high? Yeah, okay. So essentially in Japan, people here work really, really hard at long hours. And so they don't have time to go home or go to the grocery store, buy groceries, and go home and cook. They need a quick uh, you know, delicious meal, nutritious and easy to eat. These 7-Elevens and Family Marts and Lawson's created this whole like system where you can go in, get something quick, you know, noodles, udon, nigiri, onigiri, whatever you want, and you can eat it instantly. And it's delicious food. It's like, it's quality. It's you know? high quality food. And you won't break the bank eating it. It's actually not too expensive. I'm determined to try these in all three of the stores side by side today because I love the sushi roll and it's one of my favorite things to eat. This is inari. It's very simple, it's just sweet deep fried tofu on rice. No seaweed involved, no fish involved, but it's a delicious piece of sushi. Mm. You see the one here in this family mart has black sesame seeds inside. Instantly you kind of feel a gush of water when you bite into it, it's very wet, which is nice. Next up we got a tuna mayo sandwich and an egg salad sandwich with eggs inside. Let's try this out. Mm. God, I love the mayonnaise in Japan. It just works so well with all the dishes they make here. But this is a great quick snack. It's like $1.50. So good. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the love of my life in Japan, the taiyaki. This is a little fish pancake with custard on the inside, and it's so delicious. Mmm. Look. Look at all that juicy custard coming out. I could eat 15 of these. Look at that steam coming off of that. Oh, baby. Look at all that red bean. I Personally, I like this one the best. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. But it's good. It's really good. All right, guys. That was delicious. Family Mart was awesome. Not my favorite, though. But your favorite. My favorite. We're now going to head on to our next convenience store. Right, let's go. <clears throat> All right. We've jumped to another area of Osaka. We're closer to Don Tobori, which is kind of like the main heart of the city. We've now come to a Lawson. Lawson or Lawson Station are another group of Japanese uh, convenience stores. They're characterized by this blue shield-looking thing with a milk jug, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like a milk truck. It is important to note this is the least of my favorites of the three. Even though towards the end of the trip it started growing up on my list a little bit. But once again, always important to remember these are all selling pretty much the same products. So let's head on into Lawson. Here we go, we have entered Lawson. Oh, okay. Yes. Guys, these are peanut sands not a sandwich but a sand. peanut sand you can find them by looking at these little packages they have different ones i think this yeah. is like tuna and egg and they have a red bean one so these um special packaging ones are only in the lawson ones so we've come to the onigiri section and very important to know only lawson has this one it's a sukiyaki with kobe beef they have kobe beef inside of one of these and it's only like two dollars so we're gonna get one of these once again we have our sandwich aisle wow i've never seen this one before this has like rice in it as much as we found this kirby are you gonna get this i don't know oh don't it's, know this is. is made out of glass yeah it's like a souvenir it's whoa i've eating. never seen this this is a godiva chocolate Okay, I'm definitely gonna get one of these. It looks like we're gonna need another basket. Okay, and another side note with Lawson's, this is one thing that I really like about them. They have dollar hamburgers. They're not very good. They're kind of like teriyaki burgers, but they're only one dollar. So, it's definitely uh, worth a try for here. So also in this Lawson, they actually sell like little fried chicken products, like chicken burgers and chicken patties, and they have chicken nuggets, which is actually I think the first time I've seen them in a Lawson. It's very interesting, so we're gonna get some chicken nuggets as well. Uh -huh. Ichi nugget? Nugget? <laughs> Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. I'll be outside. And here he is. Moshe. That was our Lawson haul. We got some Lawson. And it's important to note also with Lawson, they are the only one that when you pay with card, they actually make you put the card into the machine 
rather than taking the card and doing it themselves. Not like it's a bad thing or anything, but they're the only ones that did it, do it. So once again, like we said earlier, when we were at Family Mart, you could sit outside right here on kind of these curbs and eat, but uh, we're gonna try to find a quieter spot. This is a lot of people. This is our Lawson Hall. This is what we got. I've never seen this yet before this. Godiva. Godiva chocolate, I don't know. Lawson, the least, my favorite. Yours also? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's not like, bad. Like, this is the best part about it for me. Yeah. It's it's Lawson. It's kind of, I think, first of all, there's there's little points that we're giving to everything. So, Family Mart has kind of a fun jingle when you enter the store. 7-Eleven, we'll talk about it when we get there. Uh-huh. Lawson is boring, if we're saying. It's, well, here's the The thing. color scheme is off. The uniforms right. are off. No, the, the uniforms are fine. The uniforms the are just is, blue. Is that Lawson has like, um, if you're into anime, they have a lot of like special edition yeah. type of. Uh, they have like, toys uh, and stuff and yeah, souvenirs. Yeah, toys and stuff. So it's good if you're into that type of stuff. But if you're looking to just get food and maybe you kind of want a little bit of a quirky environment, he's having a peanut butter sandwich, but it's more like peanut butter cream. Right. So it's like a cream instead of like a, almost a whipped cream rather than like the cream peanut butter. And I'm having this weird Godiva brownie thing. Mm. This is the Uchi Cafe Godiva chocolate. Let's move. This is a nice guy. We're moving locations because this old man came with a giant radio that's really loud. At least he was nice about it though. He saw us leaving. He was like, sorry guys. I am now going to taste what I'm very excited for, Lawson Chicken Nuggets. If you know me and you've been watching my videos, you know I love meat, you know I love fried chicken, you know I love anything chicken fried. That's a Lawson Chicken Nugget. And it has a little chicken on it. Oh wow, guys check that out. Look at how much meat is in there. And it's not like, it doesn't feel overly processed like it was ground up chicken and sh squirted it out on a little thing and then deep fried. Those are actually pretty good, decent chicken nuggets. They never give you ketchup. And when they do give you ketchup, it's tiny amounts of ketchup. So bring your own ketchup. I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. Lawson, you just got some points. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, Kobe beef from a convenience store. That's what Japan's all about, is being able to get Kobe beef for $2. So it's already the onigiri with rice and seaweed already there. And on the inside, if we break this apart, we'll see we got all that Kobe beef. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Right on impact, the sauce in there is very sweet. You don't taste much of the beef. There we go. That's where most of the beef is at, right there. Really fresh, the rice is really, really good. The seaweed could be a little bit better, I think, because it is packaged and probably sitting there for days. Whether or not it's real Kobe beef, I don't really know how you're supposed to tell. It's delicious for $2. I would totally buy this again and again and again and again and again and again. Oh. So that's a straight up Lawson exclusive. So what is it, yogurt? I think that's Kalpis. Okay, Kalpis is like a yogurt drink. So it's like yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Look, Lawson, hands down my least favorite. But I will say this. Every time I spend more time in a Lawson, I'm pleasantly surprised. Did you yeah. say the same? I mean, this surprised me for sure. I this never, really cool. I never want to go to a Lawson. But when we end up in the Lawson out of necessity, I'm always like, no, oh, it's okay, it's not that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our Lawson haul. We're gonna jump off to the last convenience store on this tour, 7-Eleven. It's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to my favorite convenience store. I've not shied away from a clear bias in this video, but it's 7-Eleven, the magical, wonderful 7-Eleven. This is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is home to the best ATMs, I think, in Japan. The best snacks, the best food that they make in the convenience stores. It's just a great environment. And besides that, they have this song, a soundtrack that they play in the store, and it is the best song I've ever heard in my life, ladies and gentlemen. 7-Eleven is also known as Seven and I Holdings here in Japan. I don't know why, what's the name of the company, why it's Seven and I Holdings, but that's a thing. We're gonna jump on at 7-Eleven, get a bunch of food, taste it, show you guys inside, let's go. Hey, Moshe. Hey. Fancy meeting you here. What did you get? Mochi? Uh, some mochi. Here's a cart for my friend. What if I didn't want your cart? We are here kind of at the end of the day, so there's not a lot of stuff going on. We've been actually filming this video all day, but I want to show you guys. These are their snacks. They got the best cookies. They have this, which is a matcha cookie. This is their snack aisle. Kind of their cold snacks, and they have this thing which is a chocolate doriaki. Doriaki is like a pancake with stuff in the middle. In Japan, they have this thing, chocolate doriaki. Seven Premium is ever evolving, more tasty and more affordable snack. It's the best tagline. Oh my God, look at these, Moshe. Look at these, it's a red bean with like matcha and red bean with, look at that. I've never seen that before. Oh, 7-Eleven is the best, ladies and gentlemen. 
I'm, I've never had that before. All right, guys, this is the famous song I was talking about. You're gonna have to listen up clearly. I'm gonna have to turn up the volume for this. Here it goes, guys. This is the best song. God, I love 7-Eleven. All right, guys, and this is a gyudon bowl. It's not maybe not the original gyudon bowl because they are a little bit low on stock right now because we're kind of at the end of the day, but it's kind of grilled beef and rice. I'm gonna put this in the pack as well. Seven and I Holdings Premium Boiled Eggs. Mm -hmm. Check out this candy aisle. Guys, the reason why 7-Eleven I think is so rooted in my heart as well is because it's the first convenience store we ever visited in Japan. And it was just kind of like an awakening of, wow, this is amazing. Look at this candy aisle. You do like 7-Eleven though, right? Yeah, but once I found Family Mart, I was like, oh, this is way better than all of the rest. I was just so salty about 7-Eleven. Alrighty, I think it's time to check out. Alrighty. Look how awesome 7-Eleven is. They even have a sit-down in the inside. But that's not a fair comparison because all of them usually have sit-down on the inside, okay? Now he's being fair. Now he's being fair. <laughs> I love 7-Eleven, what do you want? All right guys, so we're gonna sit down and try our 7-Eleven food. So as you can see, this is the bowl. We got a little beef, a little rice. I wanna pour that all in. And then what I like to do is I like to take a 7-Eleven hard-boiled egg. Look at, look at this cross-section right here. Look at that 7-Eleven egg. It's the best. And pop it right on into the bowl. Shall we give this a try? So good. Four dollars is how much that costs. Right, I mean, that's a full-on meal. And the taste is just, it's really fresh. And that 7-Eleven rice, man. So good. We're gonna move pretty quickly through everything else. We got 7-Eleven's chocolate dorayaki. Mmm. And there's little chocolate chips on the inside. It's so good. Mmm. I love that. This is like a hamburger patty with a red bean and matcha. Kind of looks like poop. Let's try it. Mmm, that's a straight up hamburger bun. 7-Eleven's onigiri. We've now tried two onigiris, both from Family Mart and Lawson. We'll give it a shot. This one, all it has inside is seaweed. Let's bite it. Mmm. There you go on the inside, that's all that seaweed. I think 7-Eleven out of all of the convenience stores. How's my least favorite selection of onigiris? Yeah, in that case, though, the Lawson wins for sure. Yeah, and the onigiri. so much more selection. Yeah, 7-Eleven doesn't have a great selection of onigiri. We have the famous 7-Eleven chocolate chip cookie, which is, mm, so delicious. I've had cookies from every single one of the convenience stores. 7-Eleven does it the best. I don't think this is one that they all get from the same manufacturer. And if you microwave this bad boy, dip it in some milk, it's fantastic. This is mochi from 7-Eleven. Red bean on the inside. Let's give it a bite. Mm. That one has actual red beans. Yeah. Like still. Once again, we've had fresh mochi now. We've had mochi from convenience stores, from different shops. And this just works. It really works really well. Moshe, what is that? So this is called melon pan. And it's essentially supposed to be melon bread, but it doesn't taste like melon at all, um, just because of the sweetness of it. And they're very common. You find them everywhere. Everywhere. Give it a shot. And there's nothing on the inside there. It's just, yeah. just, just kind of bread. Yep. Oh, boy. That's a mess right there. We're going to end this video here. Final judgments. Which was your favorite convenience store? Hands down, the Family Mart. I love the jingle. It's my favorite. The food options are better, I think, in my opinion, at least for my taste. Yeah, overall, it's got to be the Family Mart for me. For me, clear winner forever and always is going to be 7-Eleven. I love this store. I love the music. I love the uniforms of the employees. But Lawson made a surprising kind of jump today for both of us, I think, yeah. where uh, we both kind of were like, whoa, okay, Lawson. I mean, realistically, they're all good. They're all 
There's pretty much they're all the same. Yeah. They all have this little tiny twinge to each one right. that makes you want to go to one or the other. I should also mention that these convenience stores exist in subway stations on smaller scales. Sometimes they're a little bit smaller with limited options. And also there's a couple companies like Daily, Daily Yamazaki, Daily Yamazaki, K-Stop, and then Mini Stop. Kind of convenience stores that aren't 7-Eleven, Lawson or Family Mart. But these guys are the big, the big winners. They're everywhere, always at all times. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. The convenience store was super fun to film. We're actually about to hop on a flight out of Japan after being here for a month and a half. This is our last video from Japan, which is kind of sad. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. I we'll love you a long time. Your Japanese word of the day today is going to be konbini, which is convenience store. So yeah, don't forget to check out thetravelingcloud.com if you want to get some merchandise. You can get yourself shirts like this, hoodies like that, mugs, it's whatever you want. Subscribe, turn those notifications on, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye class. I love you a long time.